South Sudan's warring factions have given themselves 60 days to find a permanent peace deal and to form a new government. They set that deadline more than a week ago, but there has been little progress in talks since then. On Friday, delegates from President Salvaquia's government did come to the table. We must not lose sight of the fact that responsibility for complete cessation of hostilities and ending the suffering of our people ultimately lies squarely on the shoulders of the two warring parties. Former political detainees also were there. All these issues are resolvable. If all parties negotiate in good faith and without any hidden agenda of fears, we must have realized during the last six months of warfare that there is no military solution to the crisis. But the self-styled SPLM in opposition was absent. It's not happy with representation at the talks. War is better than bad peace. We are not warmongers, but I'm sure even the mediation and our partners and their partners would not want us to, uh, to arrive at a, <coughs> at a bad peace. Regional body IGAD could, however, announce progress elsewhere on the deployment of troops from the region into South Sudan. The deployment of the Regional Protection Force is ongoing and will continue rapidly. I'm also pleased to announce today that the government of the Republic of Djibouti will also deploy a contingent to the Protection Force to join the Ethiopian, Kenyan and Rwandese troops already committed. Mediators remain confident these talks will bring about a lasting peace. But time is not on South Sudan's side. It's been six months since the hostilities flared up, and aid agencies say the nation is on the brink of a humanitarian disaster. Grumjana CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.